Hey, hello, hi, welcome everybody back to a new video and what you just saw right now was a custom boot screen for your 3ds you know it's just a little nice uh personalization touch for your 3ds and we're gonna be doing that with the help of custom firmware and yeah we're gonna be doing this in just a few simple steps so first off what we want to do is actually power this off and make sure to um take our 3ds's sd card and we're gonna be putting it inside of our computer all right so here we are on our computer and as you can see we have our 3ds's sd card inserted and pretty much all you want to do first is you want to go over to the link in the description and it should let you download these two files right here make sure you extract them so that you can have both of these folders right here and pretty much all we want to do is just make sure that we have the video that we want to use i want to use my channel's intro as the splash screen for our 3ds so what i'm going to do is take this intro new.mp4 and just copy it over to the Bax converter folder. And now that we put it onto here, we can go, go over to our 3DS's SD card and let's go and create a new folder. And then we're going to name it Bax. So just lowercase b a x, just like that. And what we want to go and do next is go over to our downloads, right click, make a new window. And let's go over to the firms. And what we're gonna do is take this Bax.firm and just drag and drop it to the root of your 3DS's SD card. So make sure not to put it into any other folders because otherwise it just won't work at all. And then what we're going to do next is go over to our boot nine strap folder. If you don't have a boot nine strap folder, just create it and make sure it's named boot nine strap, all lowercase without any spaces or anything, just like this. And then we'll go over to the firms and take these two boot nine strap files, boot nine strap firm and boot nine strap firm and drag and drop them onto your 3ds's SD card. And if it does ask to replace any of the files, make sure to replace them. And then what we can do is go over to our Luma payloads and take the safe B9S installer dot firm from, from the firms and just drag and drop it onto your Luma payloads. Again, if it does ask to replace anything, make sure to do that. We can go back to our downloads folder. Let's just uh, minimize this 3DS for now. And we can go over to back converter and let's just go and modify the name of the video file. So you do want to rename it so that it doesn't have any numbers or spaces. So mine is intro space dot new. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the space and the new. So that is just plain intro dot MP4. You can name it whatever you want, but make sure it doesn't have any numbers or, or spaces. So we can go and so now we can go over to our command prompt. And what we can do now is go and take the Bax converter dot exe, drag and drop it into our command prompt. And now we're going to do some typing onto the command prompt. We're going to press space negative I, and we're going to go and take the MP4 file, drag and drop it onto, onto the command prompt. Like we did with the exe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press space, negative S space top. So I'm going to press top because, uh, because I'm going to put it on the top screen of my 3ds. And then I'm going to press space and I'm going to put negative B space, and then put six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. And once we have that, we can press enter. And there we go. It pretty much just, just converted our thing. There we go. And if we take a look over back to our Bax converter folder right here, we can see that we have a new intro.bax file. So it should be identical to the name of the video file that you wanted in the first place. And it's pretty much the same exact thing, except it's converted into a file format that the 3ds can view so we can just drag our new Bax file that we just converted and drag it and drop it into the Bax folder on the 3ds that we made earlier so if we go to our 3ds's sd card we can see we can go over to the Bax folder and there's our intro.bax that we just created that's pretty much it so now what we can do is take our sd card out of our computer and put it into our 3ds and i'll pretty much just be showing you guys what to do from there all right so here we are i just put my sd card back inside of my 3ds and now what, what i can do is go and launch up luma by holding the power button and the start and here we are on the luma 3ds chain loader and then we're going to go over to safe b9s installer and it's going to ask to um input a key combo this is honestly kind of my favorite part of doing these kinds of things. And then we're just going to press A. And here's the little status bar on the bottom screen. And then we're pretty much just going to let it do its thing. And it should say that um, it's a success. And our boot animation should show after this. But let's see what happens. Let's go and press A. And there we go. That's so sick. 
Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't have the audio, but this is insane. Oh my god. Okay. Um, there it is. It's gonna be booting back into our 3ds's home menu, and there we go. So if we go and turn off our 3ds, go and turn it back on again. That is so sick. Oh my god. Oh, that is crazy cool. Oh my god. That is insane. I love that. Okay. I. <laughs> you. That is cool. Okay. So, uh, if I go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That is insane. I don't even know how to react right now. That's so cool. That is insane. I love that. That is. Ugh, that. The possibilities are pretty much endless on this, but yeah, if you guys liked what you saw, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, subscribe for more, and yeah. I'm just gonna go and boot this up again because this is honestly really, really cool. That is so sick. I love it. Oh my god, that is cool. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty much it, you guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow our new TikTok, join the Discord server. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.